Okay, this is Kenley Johnson, and I'm explaining my medication cards. Um, there's 42 of them, so I'll go as quick as I can through these. So the first one's aminoglycosides. Um, the medication, the prototype is gentamicin. Um, this one, how I remember it, is it needs to have a peak and trough, so it's super important. Um, and then it is really hard on ears and kidneys, which is the autotoxicity and the nephrotoxicity. The second one is the cephalosporins. Um, I have cephalosporins. Prozil as the medication, the prototype, um, but I know in the book there was also Scepter. So um, there, it's really important to remember that it is grouped into five generations, like first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So they can use any of these, but they're on the fifth generation of using them. Um, this is treats um, gram-positive cocci, um, and then this is important to remember that it causes oral contraceptions, uh, contraceptions, contraceptives to reverse. Um, next one is penicillin. The medication is amoxicillin and this is to treat broad spectrum um, infections. So um, an important thing that this could cause yeast infections. Um, I know a lot of people that um, get yeast infections and they get on penicillin or amoxicillin um, and it is important to take on an empty stomach. Um, the next one is the sulf sulfonamides. Um, the prototype, I did put the sulfonamide, but it is the Cotron could I butcher this one, Cotromidazole. Um, this is for treating like UTIs and it's killing bacteria with the fungi, um, that, with, that has fungi. Um, you want to make sure that you are cautious for se severely impaired urine and creatinine clearance for this one. Um, and there's a high allergy to this one. I know a lot of people that are allergic to sulfa drugs. Um, the next one is antiviral. Um, the prototype is romantidine. Um, a lot of them have the ending and ver, the vir, um, like the paramivir. I have them on the bottom right here. Um, Rabanvirin. Um, so they do have that vir. Um, but this is to treat influenza. So um, you need to be careful that elderly patients have um, increased adverse effects. Um, and then you need to make sure that they do not have the flu vaccine two weeks prior. So then that's also here. Ask when they do how their last flu vaccine was. Um, the next one is the antiviral. Um, acyclovir is this one. Um, it does combat herpes. So um, the biggest drug to drug interaction is the nephrotoxicity, which is this drug right here, the Vosgarnet. Um, and then you need to be really careful that this crosses into the breast milk, so it is super toxic in pregnancy. The next one is antifungal. Um, this has a lot of drug-to-drug -drug interactions, and this is to prevent and treat a variety of fungal and yeast infections. Um, so the it's diflucan or the fluconazole um, for this one. A lot of them end in zol, um, but like I said, you need to be careful that there's a lot of drug-to-drug -drug interactions. The next one is anti-protozole. Um, so this one is the metro, I just think of it the metro one, the me metro nidazole, um, but you get a metal taste with this one. So that's how I really remember this one. And then you have to be careful that there's no alcohol with this one. And this one helps with C. diff. The next one is the anti-protozole, which is the chloroquine is the um, prototype. So how I remember this is Quinn has mosquito bites. So I don't know why I remember it that way, but it's anti-malaria. So this is um, what you get from mosquito bites. Um, and I did learn in class that it can be transmitted vaginally. So I wrote that on here. Um, and it can be taken as a precursor um, before you go on a trip that could have mosquitoes there and stuff. Um, the next one is the anti, or it's the, I don't even know what to say, anti-lamidic. Um, mabendazole is the drug, it's the prototype, um, and how I remember it is that worms bend, so this is like the worms, I loved this day, I loved going over all of this, um, but the most important thing is that you need a culture sensitive, sensitivity test, so I wrote that multiple times on here. The next one is the anti-metabolics, um, which is the methotrexate, um, this is to treat relapsing forms of MS. So um, a big interaction is antiviral drugs. We need to make sure that we do not give that with this. Um, and then making sure that you wash your hands with this drug is super important. I think I put that over here. Um, if you touch it, then make sure you wash your hands. Um, the next one is the mitotic. Um, so the, the mitotic um, inhibitors. 
So it is the Vin Christine. My handwriting's great on this one. Um, but it's, this is used for treatment of tumors and leukemias. Um, it's mainly used for breast cancer treatment. Um, so I did say that you could lose hair. Um, it, it's the alopecia, but it can be reversible for this one. The next one is the anti-neoplastics antibiotics, which is the doxyrubicin. Um, and how you remember this is the ruby red heart and ruby red urine. So this does change your urine. Um, but this is for patients who relapse in MS, the multiple sclerosis. Um, and then you want to make sure that you do not get vaccines, any vaccines on this drug. So that is super important. And then the changing urine colors. The next one is the hormones and hormone modulators. Um, Temozyphin is the prototype. And then you just need to make sure that you monitor all results of lab tests, especially CBC and liver function for this one. Um, but it can be given sub-Q um, and it can be given to children as well. The next one is a salicylate. Um, aspirin is the prototype. Um, and this can be, it is to treat mild to moderate active ulcerative colitis. Um, and it is important not to take NSAIDs with aspirin, which I think NSAIDs are next. So NSAIDs here, I did my presentation on NSAIDs. Um, it helps with pain, fever, inflammation, and protects the gastric mucosa. So um, you want to make sure that you do not have alcohol on this one. And then there is a big pregnancy and lactation risk, um, but this can increase bleeding. So it's super important not to um, have alcohol with this. And um, it is a blood thinner, uh, slight blood thinner. Um, immune suppressants, the TMB suppressors. So this is a cyclosporin. How to remember this is like an eye transplant, you're only gonna have one eye if you don't take this. So um, it's an organ rejection. You take this for um, organ rejection after transplant. So you don't want your organs to um, reject. So it's super important to take, it, take this and it um, blocks all those normal effects. So um, it is a tablet or it can be given IV. The next one is the interferon. Um, and actually the prototype is interferon. Um, and this is to treat viral infections and to treat cancer. Um, so the main one on this one is liver disease. So you really want to be precautious and um, know that if your patient has liver disease, not to give this one to them. And then um, you don't want to take tramadol with this drug. That is the main um, black box warning on that one. Immune sera. So um, I put tetanus as this. There's a couple different ones, but tetanus is the one that I remember. Um, you do give this one IM only and you do give it in that deltoid for adults. Um, but this is um, for like the immunity, so the, the provide passive immunity. So it is just like kind of a vaccine, but I think the vaccine is next. So this is the viral vaccines. Um, these are given IM as well. So this just stimulates active immunity um, for people that are at high risk for these. So an important one is that if they're allergic to eggs, you cannot give this to them. There's a couple allergies, but the main one is eggs. So if you are allergic to eggs, you cannot get the, the flu vaccine. Um, the next one is the nar narcotics. So morphine or fentanyl is the prototype for this. Um, Narcan does reverse this. So I believe that Narcan's the next one on here. It is. So um, you do want, the main thing with this one is you want to monitor respirations. Their respirations do um, decrease significantly. So that is very important with this one. The next one is Narcan. So it's a narcotic antagonist. So it's going to reverse that one. So the main thing, my husband's a paramedic and he tells me all the time that they can get combative with this. So we need to be really careful with this one. Um, the next one is triptans. So sumatriptan imitrex, this is for anti-migraines. So that's really important here. It is promotes vasoconstriction caused by vasodilation. The next ones are benzo, so benzodiazepines. Um, it is diazepam, so a lot of them are gonna be ending in PAMs. Um, so it is for like anxiety, it can also be for seizures, um, but it is, let's see, so you have anxiety, seizures, muscle spasms, anything like that, um, but you wanna be careful with the glaucoma. So the next one is barbs. Um, barbiturates is the phenobarbital. Um, these are way more addictive and have way more side effects than um, benzos. So these aren't very popular, but you do need to know that it can have hepatic impairment um, and it does decrease motor output. The next one is general anesthetics. Um, this one is the methohexadol. Um, I have a bunch of stuff on this one on the back of this page, um, but pretty much 
it is the induction of anesthesia, so it decreases decreases secretions, and it is um, it can be available in IM, IV, rectal, gas inhalation, and volatile volatile liquids. So, um, for volatile volatile liquids, you need to make sure that um, they do not have a history of malignant hypothermia. Okay, the next one is local anesthetics. A lot of these end in cane, so C A I N E. So this one's lidocaine, and this provides like a topical anesthetic. So um, you need to make sure that you are looking at skin integrity and everything with this one, um, and turning patients, anything like that. Um, but yeah, there's multiple. There's topical infiltration, field block, nerve block, and intravenous for this one. The next one is is generalized seizure agents so phenotoin or the hydantoins they're the t-o-i-n toins so there's five different categories of seizures there's a tonic absent absence atonic myoclonic status epiglitis and the febrile so these are super important to know those five types um, but this one um, this one drug can increase status epiglitis which is um, the like the most dangerous seizure so um, you just need to make sure that it does spread rapidly um, throughout the brain. It goes from a partial to a generalized seizure, and you need to avoid primrose and the ginkgo. The next one is a partial seizure agent, so um, you need to be careful um, with suicide thoughts in young teenagers and stuff. Um, but there's partial equals simple is conscious, and complex is not conscious for a seizure. The next one is neuromuscular blocking agents, which are NMJs. They end in IUM, so the pancreonium is the one for this. And then um, I have succinylcholine on here as well, and that one's what I put it on the back. For succinylcholine, I know on the test or on one of the tests it did say that you need to be careful with fractures, so that's super important for that one. And then this one is you might need to facilitate mechanical ventilation, so and then to be careful with the malignant hypothermia. So dopaminergic agents is the next one. So levodopa is the prototype. This is for Parkinson's disease. So um, it helps with those muscle contractions and everything like that, um, but it increases do dopamine. So that's that one. And this one only lasts, it's the levodopa and it only lasts two to five years, which is really important. So um, centrally acting muscle relaxants, this is a skeletal muscle. So this is baclofen, so how I remember it is the back is the skeletal muscle. So that's how I remember that one. And then you need to avoid alcohol. The next one is antipsychotic neuroleptic drugs. Um, chlorpromazine is the prototype. Um, this does not cure, it just um, decreases those symptoms. So um, it just is, uh, it helps with those psychotic disorders. Um, and then there is a risk of Parkinson's for this one. And then the block, black box warnings is for dementia patients. You do not want to give this to dementia patients. Okay, the next one is MAOIs, which is, which is the mono, monodiamine oxidase inhibitors. Um, um, so we had to put down the HAHA, which is hypertension, anticholinergic, hepatocellular, and anorexia. So that is super important to know. And then you want to make sure you do not have the patient on the insulin with this drug. Uh, for SSRIs, um, the drug is Prozac or Lexitine. So um, this is just making it so it's a treatment of a depression disorder. So um, you want to talk about barrier contraceptives because you don't want a patient to get pregnant on these. So and then talk about suicide risk. Okay, the next one is CNS stimulants. So for this one, um, it's methylphenidate, and then you need to get a baseline EKG before getting them on this. And then this will is a treatment of attention deficit syndromes, so ADHD, ADD, stuff like that. Next one is bipolar disorder drugs, and this is lithium. lithium. Um, and you need to make sure that you are not giving diuretics with this drug, um, but it is for manic episodes and bipolar disorder. Um, Non-selective beta and jert and adrenic blocking agents this is like the sympathetic so it is going to tr um, treat hypertension this is alpha and beta and um and agonist so this is going to be like your fight or flight the sympathetic system um and this is dopamine so i always say running from a bear is dope so it's going to increase everything it's going to be your fight or flight method so that's how i remember this one 
The next one is the alpha selective angeronic um, blocking agents. So this is gonna be more the parasympathetics and this is doxyzosin. Um, and the main thing is you need to monitor eyes and nose input and output for sure on this drug. But this is to monitor mild to moderate hypertension. And then um, this is Alzheimer's disease one, Donzapil. Um, how I remember this is actually my friend's grandpa's name is Don. So, and he had Alzheimer's disease. So I always remember this one. Um, but you need to make sure that you take this medication at bedtime um, and then avoid NSAIDs. And the last one is the anticholinergic agents. So this is going to be the sympathetic system. This is atropine. Um, this is super important. It does decrease secretions. So you do want to provide lozenges um, and encourage fluids mainly. And that is it.